Yes, Shakira, I'm Jeremy, and you're actually very much too poppy for my taste. But if you suck this, I might put you out on my label. Put FDR next to Stalin like that, and I can put a Cyberman here. What's that? No, it's just Cyberman attacking Roosevelt. I feel uneasy ab about the noises, Gerard. Anyway, would a Cyberman attack Roosevelt? He's a Cyberman, Mark. He's devoid of all human emotion, concerned only with the preservation of his own race. Of course he'd attack Roosevelt. <clears throat> oh, hi, Jess. Sorry to interrupt you playing, boys. We're not. We're just ar arranging our models with some noises. Anyway, what are you doing back from your new job so early? Fired already? I'm back so early because I have the coolest job in the world and Ben is the coolest boss in the world. I asked him when I should come in tomorrow and he said, whenever you can make it. His motto is, the work never starts. That's his motto? What's his annual turnover? Who gives a shit? We don't make money. Money makes us. What does that even mean? It means I'm going to light up a fatty and crack open my brand new Xbox. Good luck with the regression session. Look, I'm sorry if in an infantilised world I've somehow ended up with the non-cool toys, but why exactly is arranging a model of the greatest liberal hero of the 20th century somehow less cool than pretending on a computer that you're a Russian pimp stealing imaginary cars? I don't know, dude. I don't make the rules. Enjoy playing soldiers and wanking over Dobby on Facebook. Oh, for God's sake, Jeremy, that's disgusting. Did you ever actually, uh... Well, you know... On occasion. Corfu 06? It's cool, man. I mean, I've never actually gone that far myself. But everything's cool in Dobby Club. Oh, we're the Dobby Club. Or the Dobby Ring. Can two people be a ring? <coughs> I really don't feel comfortable about this, Jess. It'll be fine. Just follow my lead. Uh. Sorry to keep you, Mr. Morgan. Well, this is going to be incredibly painful, but at least I'm doing the right thing, sort of. I understand you might be able to back up Jeremy's story about the uh, item found in the pool. Oh, my God, he actually... he couldn't resist. Did you see Matt Townsend do this? Well, I, I didn't actually see him, but I, I have my suspicions. Why? He mentioned to me that he likes to do that. He did? Yes, he, he said he loves to do that. OK. I'll have a word with Matt. My apologies. But uh, I'm sure we can straighten this out. Not straighten out. Sack the innocent man. Uh, there was that other thing. Another thing? Yes, the other thing. Remember what you told me? About your knob? Oh, uh, yes, um, I, I, I didn't want to mention that, but uh, uh, Matt, he touched my penis. Karen, could you ask Matt Townsend to come to my office immediately? They say I did a poo. In the pool. And I... and I touched him? Yes. Can you describe exactly what happened, Mr Corrigan? Uh, well, uh, he, he was uh, giving me a, a massage and uh, he was going up my legs and my thighs and, and then he touched my penis and, and then he, he rubbed my penis quite a bit and, and I said stop but he, he wouldn't stop Mark why are you saying this I don't understand <clears throat> because because it's true please don't do this this is my career you should have thought about that when you were touching his cock oh god this is all so horrible maybe it would have been simpler just to kill him I should know how to kill someone by now I've watched enough CSI OK, I'm going to Aberdeen. I'm going, Jeff, in a canoe made of your skin, wearing your nuts as earrings. All right, Jeff? All right, Mark. So, say, tell you what, Jeff, I had a great shag last night. Oh, really? Yeah, with your mum. What? Yeah, really doing it, we were. 
Mate, I know you're pissed off about me going to Aberdeen with Soph and everything, but you need to chill, OK? You need to chill right out, otherwise... Otherwise I'm... what? What's gonna happen, you homo? Mark. Stolen any good cars lately, Mr Scouser? Hey, where's your native wit now, eh, Mr Stupid? Watch it, mate. Come on, Jeff. Let's get down to it, shall we? Come on, you stupid, stinking chicken fucker. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, those chickens really love it when that big rooster Jeff comes a-calling. <laughs> oh, he's bloody broken my beautiful nose. That should be more than enough for personnel to go on, don't you think? Goodbye, Jeff. What, mate? Where's... Where's the other one? You're not the one I bought the lager for. Laurie knocks off at six. But he was supposed to tape the... Me and Jeff in the room. He must have taped it. Oh, shit! Look, mate, pal, you, you've got to do me a favour. Hey, Jeff. What now, Mark? Yeah, so, like I was saying, your mum. I had sex with her. Mark, why are you doing this to yourself? Yeah, and it was great. Mark, go home. Come on, you big pussy. Look, you've obviously got a lot of serious stuff going on. And I'm not going to make it any worse. Come on. Dick cheese, piss teeth, fish lips. Come on, have another crack at me, Jeff. Go on, I'll fight back this time. Hit me, Jeff. It's OK. I'll get him at the bus stop. There's CCTV at the bus stop. <laughs> so. Hey, Mark. But with the handover's not till tomorrow night. I think I would remember, Mark. No, look, I'll, I'll show you in my diary. See? T tomorrow night, you've got it wrong. Oh, right. Well, well done, Mark. One point to you. Sorry. Can I come in? No. What? But maybe we should stick to the appointed... OK, I guess, if, if you're here. OK, let's try and keep this festival of recriminations brief. I ignore the girls. They're, they're Jeremy's girls, they're not my girls. <laughs> Thanks for my stuff. It is your stuff. It, it's so great that you could come round. I'll, I'll see you in the office, I guess. I thought the whole point was we were going to have a bit of an air clear. Unless, of course, this is a bad time for you. No, not sitting. I don't know if I'm up or down at the moment. I mean, Tolly from the office asked if I wanted to go out for a coffee and I just told him to get lost. And then I realised, you know, I've got to move on at some time, so... Hey, Mark! Get back in here so Lindsay can jerk you off! <laughs> What? No one's going to jerk me off, Sophie. It's just a stupid joke. I'm not the one that's going to jerk you off. She's the one that's going to jerk you off. <laughs> Please, carry on. Are you trying to humiliate me? What? No. God, no. Hey, Mark! Come and put your tongue up Lindsay's asshole. It's clean. <laughs> yeah, well, you seem to have moved on pretty fucking quick. What? Look, I'm, I'm sorry. They're Australian. They, they think it's all fine. I'm so sorry, Soph. I don't even want to put my tongue up anyone's asshole. Jeremy! Shut up, Mark. Honestly. Give me a pizza of the action. Johnson? What do you want? I want to see Mark. He called. He says he's been falsely imprisoned. <laughs> falsely imprisoned? What a drama queen. He's not here. That's bullshit. What have you done to him? Nothing. Why would I... Johnson! Mark? Johnson! Mark! Oh, for God's sake, if you're going to be like that about it. Oh, thank you, Alan, thank you. That's for you, Jeremy, you bloody shit. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, Alan. Where's the door? Are you all right, Mark? Yep, fine. Great, just the, the door fell out and, and we haven't, so and I need to... Is that normal pooing you're doing? Yep. Oh, yeah. It doesn't sound normal, Mark. It doesn't smell normal. It is, honestly. This is bollocks, Mark. You know the credo. Illness equals weakness. You're off the team. Please, Alan. Where's the fire? No, but... Oh, my God. No, no, no. Just stay in that room. Stay in the nice room. It's so disgusting. I'm going to be sick. No, don't be sick. You can't be sick. Let's dance. Don't be sick. Go and look at the magic eye. Oi, oi, what's all this? <sighs> Jesus. Is this what you two are into? Is this your thing? 
I'm sorry. I'm just so sorry. I'll see you later, Mark. Much later. Let's get you out of here. No, you can't just... But... Hang on, love. Why up? You had to do it, didn't you? You just couldn't let me be happy. You had to go crying to Daddy just as soon as I locked you in your room for one single minute. You just can't take a joke, can you? Jeremy, for God's sake. So this is my big evening, is it? Me tripping my nuts off watching you do endless pooing. If I were you, I'd think about what you've done. Just have a long, hard think about what you've done. I'm really glad that we did manage to meet up, because uh, I don't know what I'd have done with this otherwise. Samurai, the world of the warrior! It's, it really is the, the only book you need on samurai culture that I could find for under 15 quid. Oh, Mark, that is thoughtful. Oh, yeah, getting kissed by the one. Oh, look at this. Jeremy left a bloody door on it. Jeremy! Hello? Hi. What are you...? I'm, I'm looking for... Kenny? Kenny's not here. Oh, OK, then I'll just... No. Oh, my God, what am I doing? Can I... Hey, hey, no, no, <laughs> hey, no! I've I, I got asthma, what the fuck are you doing? I'm wrestling with the white working class. Morse never did this. Sh shut up! <clears throat> I'm better than Morse. Oh, wow, Mark. You totally took him out. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, well, my home is my castle. <sighs> Look, get off, I was just... You were coming back for what you didn't get last week. That's my bloody watch! You've got my watch on! Please, please. <laughs> yes, I've apprehended a burglar. Flat 5, Apollo House, London Road, Croydon. 45 minutes? But I'm... I'm sitting on him. Is that legal? OK. Who needs a samurai exhibition when you get a samurai display? Uh, look, uh, if, if you want, we, we can do this another time. No, I, mean, I can't leave you now. You might need... Oh, well, that's great. I, I mean, I... I I think I'm OK with him, but it'd be good to have someone else there with a bottle or a spanner to bonk him on the head with if he tries anything. Oh, this is a nice place. Thank you. If she spanners me, I'll kick off. It's good to get a foot on the ladder. Plus, I've got pension provision coming out of my ass. There's wine in the fridge. This is actually turning out pretty well. This could be a funny family story. We met when he sat on a burglar. Oh, what are you doing? Who are you sitting on? It's a burglar. Oh, oh, my God. I'm not. I've got the wrong flat. I'm looking for Kenny. I'm asthmatic. We need money for a meter. Oh, the plot thickens. You might have got the wrong flat. Oh, that's right. Take his side. You've only known me for 15 years, whereas him, he's a pillar of society. Well, he stops sitting on him. You look like a dick. You didn't see him take him down. Oh, hi, I'm oh, Heather. Hi, hi. Look, Heather, can you watch him? And I'll double lock the door. And then... We can all go through into the living room and just all keep an eye on him there, OK? Hi, Robert Grayson. I'm Mark Corrigan. Hi, Robert Grayson. Pleased to meet you. Hi, Mr Grayson. Pleased to meet you. Mr Grayson's ready for you. Thank you. Hi, Mr Grayson. Pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Robert Grayson. Pleased to meet you. No, I'm Robert Grayson. No, sure. Are you Robert Grayson? No, I, I'm sorry, you are. You, you are. I'm not. I, I'm very sorry. Hmm. I have a sudden overpowering desire for a glass of water and a baguette. I can't believe they left the door open. Yeah, thank God for that. Subhans? Cheers, what are you doing here? We're going up there to fuck shit up. No way. Oh, right, fair enough. I, I suppose we'd better all just... What? Sorry, man. I've got keys. Of course he's got keys. keys. He's carving up the JLB corpse. We're just going to take what's ours. Look, honey, you need to make your protest through the agreed grievance procedure. That's a good procedure. Riot! Put it back, bitch. That's JLB. It's the pass at Thermopylae. We're the Spartans. No, Hans is the Spartans. Come on, Mark! Hold on, am I a Spartan or a Persian? Fuck it, I'll work it out later. OK, what's the minimum criminal damage I can get away with? Take that! Our work here is done! Let's go! Snowstorm! OK, there is a nuclear reaction underway. But I can be a cooling rod. They're the hard spirits, I'm the carbonated mixer. How can I distract the savages? Keyboard. Apparent crusade for justice, reduced risk of RSI at home. Double bubble. I've got it! I've got the keyboard! Mission accomplished, guys! Let's roll! Why has he got his shirt off? Any excuse and he'll take his shirt off. Come on, Mark! Oh, God. Got to respond. She's got a cock. 
Need to get a cock of my own. Fuck on this. Take it, phone face. Dobby's hard on's coming all over me. This is my dream, my nightmare. Eat my phone, baby. Eat it off. Never phone alone. <laughs> phone home. Phone oh, this home. is better than sex. It's easier than sex. Oh, my God. That wasn't my main photocopier, but it was a trusty steed when the main one was busy. <laughs> Screw it. Who needs photocopiers when you've got a woman and a high-resolution printer that scans? Shall we? Yeah, I mean, I, I've copied a lot of shit on this copier, but who the hell even cares? <laughs> Mark? <laughs> Hello? Stefan, what, what are you...? We're shredding, Mark. What's going on? Nothing. But... I mean, obviously, we're fucking everything up, and the fact that you're probably insured for all this doesn't make a blind bit of difference to us. Yeah. Yeah, so suck it up, you douchebag. Well, got Dobby, but there goes the Nazi gold. Back into the vault with all the Rembrandts. Another night in the bath. I really don't think you could call my life a failure. Look at that, I've got a sleeping bag and a duvet. If this was the olden days, I'd be a billionaire. Jez, I'm fucked. Molly found a wrap of coke in my pocket. Oh, man. So you're in the shit? Yeah. Well, no. Once I said it was yours, so you're in the shit. You take the hit for me, mate, please. She'll break it off if she finds out I've been coking. Jeremy, is it true? The coke? Yes, yes, it's mine. I brought some coke to the stag, and uh, even though Hans asked me not to, and uh, but he refused to have any. Yeah. He was like, come on. I was like, no, no. Why was it in his pocket? Because he took it off me. Why? Why? Because he was trying to spike people and drug little kids. And I was like, no way, dude. Jeez. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm a spiker. It's just one of my things. Yeah. He was like, let's spike these shitheads. And I was just like, no way. I couldn't, I couldn't see that happen. The spiking. I guess I'm just a terrible, terrible shithead. Look, we've put up with a lot with you staying here. Yeah. But I think if we want the lifestyle we want... Yeah, look, sorry, Jez, but you're a bad influence. And, uh, I think you need to leave. Can't I say one more night? After everything I've done for you? Not just in the past, but, like, really recently. I'm sorry, Jez, but you, you, broke, you broke our trust. You're a, a liar and a pervert and a scumbag. And I never want to see you again. Film, three word, Chariots of Fire. Next. Why always Chariots of Fire, Mum? It's the only one I can think of. I don't even like it. I know. Emmanuel. Mum, really? It's fun. Oh, God, this is horrible. And the terrible thing is, this is the high point of the day. This is us allegedly having a great time. Film, one word. Bruno. Milk. Breadback Mountain. Emmanuel. Oh, the indignity of the public hip thrust. Cheers. Of you. Got one for you. Here's one. Thus spake Zarathustra. Excuse me? It's a book by nature. Oh, great. Fucking thanks, Dan. Thus, no. Spake, no. Zarathustra, nope. Chicken run. Correct. But you... Fuck you, Dan. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said chicken run. So you must have listened to my track by now, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. What'd you like about it? I like the lyrics. There aren't any lyrics. It's Sophie, everybody. It's Sophie. Everybody! I've got the music. Hold on. Stop. I'll do the music. Happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, sweetheart. Oh, thanks, Dad. God, this old thing. <laughs> happy birthday. 
Come on, Mark. You've got to grasp the nettle, mate. I really don't want you to leave it too late. Right. It, it's just as, as a matter of fact, I've, I've had a bit of a think, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure I, I want to... I, I don't think I want to... Is this because of Nana's cottage? God, no, not, not because of Nana's cottage. Of, of course not. There, there are a lot of factors. Like what? Myriad factors. I, I can't just think off the top of my head. You either love her or you don't. Hey, nice to see you two getting on. What are you chinwagging about? Oh, just metal. Oh. And the fact that I don't really love you. So, Dan Walker's bar apparently looks suspicious. Oh no, poor Dan. Oh, oh, poor old Dan. Maybe you should make that your last glass. Poor, poor Dan. Poor old Dan. There's a reason you're so sad for Dan, isn't there? Because you're such good friends with Dan, aren't you, Pen? For God's sake, Ian. Dad? Uh, anyone for a game of Risk? Let's play another game. Cranium? The Truth Game. Oh, Penny doesn't want to play. How about you, Mark? Me? Tell us the truth. <laughs> the, the truth? <laughs> you, you can handle the truth. Tell everyone. Come clean about you and Sophie. You know, I fancy a, a nap. A, a nice, relaxing nap. Tell them you don't want to marry her. Mark? That is a, a terrible thing to say. Tell the truth. The truth? The, the truth is that I love Sophie very much and, and I'm very much looking forward to marrying her. You, Mark, are a greedy little... F well, I may be many things, but at least I'm not a barn burner. <gasps> right. Thank you. He did it. He, he made me and Jeremy watch so we'd be accessories to the crime, but I'm breaking down your wall of silence, Ian. Even if you did threaten to break my fingers. Is this true? Well, I, I did see him throw a petrol bomb, but I thought that might be a joke. You backstabbing little shit! OK. Come on. Oh, dear. Why am I walking into the jaws of death? The jaws of death are best avoided. That's common knowledge. Yes. So, here we are. Another exciting trawl down the vista of history. There is no new history, only new historians. Ha <laughs> ha. Were you here last week? Me? This is my moment of madness. This is my Clapham Common. Uh, no, I, I'm new. I, I'm mature. I, I, I went to Coventry for a week in error. Lovely. Totally destroyed in the war, obviously. But th there was a mix-up. I'm not on the forms, but I'm here now. Well, obviously. Fine. So, um, Crossan and Reed, what did you make of it? Is that it? Is that how easy it is to steal some education? Jesus Bloody hell, who's in charge? The world's just people Jesus walking around, status. going into That's rooms and saying things. Even it's all a big swizzle. I, I thought there was some contradictions in the book. They seem to suggest Christ Galilee was culturally Roman. Not that old fallacy. But the Romans didn't station a legion in Galilee till, what, 130 AD? Yes, indeed. But I suppose all research funding leads to Rome. What was your name again? Corrigan. Mark Corrigan. I'm doing it, Dad. I'm studying ancient history and there's not a thing you can do about it. I'm pretty sure these aren't maracas. Still, I'll give him a hand. Not that I'm a roadie, I'm just helping out. I bet Ringo had to carry stuff. Not that I'm Ringo. I'm nothing like Ringo. Are you an executioner's bong? Sure I am, little lady. Did you sign this for me? Fuck yeah. Oi, Jez, when you finish that, could you run and get us six lattes? That is so Pete. Fuck off, Pete. It's just a little thing we have going. You seen Spinal Tap, yeah? I'm going to let you go because I'm a really nice guy like that. But you've got to promise that you won't burgle us again because we've got a bond. I think he likes me. You have to bang this fucking door okay, down! I'm going to let you go now. But if you ever come back, then me and my mate will go mental. OK? OK, this is good. He'll probably write a rap about how amazing I am. Shit. Hattie's got a massive TV. Give us your TV or we'll fucking rush ya. Don't hurt my lovely face. God, she's lovely. But how do I take it to the next level? Boast about the size of my hands? Tell her she might be the one? 
What have I got to lose? Well, it's been fun. Um, I'm really glad we did meet up, but now maybe I should... Um... Yeah, I, I guess you probably should, but there is the mob, so uh, the mob probably means you, you can't actually go just yet. Uh, shall I top you up? Thanks, mob. Fuck, shh. What the... What's going on, Jeremy? He escaped. He overpowered me. They got in. Stop! Stop, thieves! Fuck off, clean shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the front door was locked. You let them in, didn't you, Jeremy? No. Then how did he open that door, for fuck's sake? Well, maybe you should chase them down, Mark. Maybe if your date saw you beating up a whole gang of children, that would get her hot. Right, you shit. It's mutually assured destruction. Suze, I'm afraid to have to inform you that Jeremy has or may have a sexually transmitted disease. I'm sorry I had to tell you, Mark, but he... shut up! Is it AIDS? Of course it's not AIDS. This isn't the 80s. It's the best STD. Just cute, old, mostly symptomless chlamydia. And I haven't even definitely... Chlamydia? When were you going to tell me, Jeremy? I don't know. Probably... I was going to tell you, sensitively, during the next little bit of time, until he just blurted it all out. Look, Suze, no. Suze, don't go. You can't go. Mark, I need to go. The police will be here any minute, and I'm not telling them I let the burglar go. That's your job. You're an accessory to the crime. Bollocks. Jeremy, if you try anything, I will take you down. I'm, I'm not afraid. Ooh, I can't wait to see this. What are you going to do? Oh, my God. What are you doing? Are you putting your hand on me? Are you having a fight with me? Are you fighting me? I'm doing what I've got to do. I'm going to go, Mark. No, Jeremy. My God, you are. You are fighting me. This is incredible. You're putting your foot behind me and you're pushing me down towards the floor. Finally, you're restraining me. OK, all right, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to keep you here till the police arrive, OK? This is... Why hasn't this happened before? This is what it's all been leading towards, isn't it? And confiscating your keys? Oh, yeah, have a good old rootle around in there. You never know what you might find. Mark, Mark, um, I'm not sure how much more there is I can do here, so I think I might head off. Uh, no, 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 we're having a date. We, we, we can still date. You, you owe me a date. We've had our date, Mark. We've, we've had half an hour date. So. 20 minutes? It, it's too soon. You can't go yet. Uh, I, I won't let you go. Well, I think you might take the edge off the evening if I'm being held hostage. Look, I'm... I'm I wanted to tell you something. Look, Mark, nothing is going to happen, OK? We're not a good fit. You're, you're a weird guy. He is a weird guy. I, I, I tried to let you down gently with the phone story, but now I'm tired and I'm going home. What did you want to tell me? I thought that you might be the one, but, but I, I guess probably not. So, good night. Night. She might be the one. Fuck off, Jeremy. I'm his one. Whee! <laughs> oh, God. Thank God. Thank God it's ending. Finally. Still got all my fingers intact, too. Are you OK? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was fun. Oh, I feel awful. I suppose doing things you hate is just the price you pay to avoid loneliness. So, what next? Well, they all look garish and unsafe, so why don't you choose? Well, hold on. My girlfriend. Standing next to her boyfriend reading a text like it's the most natural thing in the world. Do feel very queasy. Oh, Mark. Mark, this is so weird. Wow. They spamming you about upgrading to 3G. No, listen, I applied for this thing. Uh, Barbara said I should, and I didn't think it would come off. So I didn't mention. But it looks like I might get a promotion. Well, that, that's brilliant. Which would mean me moving to Bristol. Oh, my God. Permanently. <laughs> oh! Are you OK? Yeah. Yeah, just... queasy from the waltzer. Of course. So I'm so sorry this has come up now. We need to talk. No, really, it, it's the waltzer. I'm, I'm happy for you. Really. <laughs> Got the nod. The mark of the human. I'm a human, you're a human. What else is there to say? Hi, Mark. Nice to see you. 
Dobby, likewise. There's meant to be a bunch of USB sticks here, but... God, there's an atmosphere. Sexual tension, or just misfits scared of sexual tension. Who are? Oh no, this is a disciplinary hearing waiting to happen. Oh, I can't reach. Could you...? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, uh, you'll, uh, you'll... You'll have to move. Yeah, I should move, but I might not move. Is she shifting her bum against my area? Uh, are, are you sure you, you don't want to get out of the way? I'm all right. What if someone comes in? Should step away. Step away from the bum. Bit impolite to step away. I don't want to step away. I've got some feta today. Oh, feta? That's, that's a sheep's cheese, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah I believe so. <clears throat> or, or, or goats. This is possibly the most exciting thing that has happened to anyone ever. Does she know what she's doing? Is she just innocently waggling her bum around and I'm getting illegal benefit? I'm not doing a sexual assault, am I? You can't do a sexual assault if you stay still like a statue. I'm just a statue, a dirty, filthy statue. Oh, God, I'm getting very... Captain Corrigan is flying without a licence. Oh, Jesus, it's too much. I'm going to blow my beans. I'm going to do a Jezel Beach. Don't let her know. Uh, 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 uh. Are you okay? I'm fine, uh, but sorry, I should be going because uh, you know the, the world turns on its axis. One man works while while another relaxes. Ah, post it. Bye. Uh, did she notice? Should have stayed for at least a snog, but for some reason my interest level just dropped straight off. God, it's soggy down there. It's going to start chafing. Need to clean up. Need to get out. Shit. Elaine and Michael. They'll probably want to talk quarterly sales. Fire exit. Could bust out here and out into the car park. Fuck. Hey, hey. it's the wedding crasher. <laughs> Hello, you two. Oh, she's smoking a joint with her ex. When we should be newlyweds, remorselessly working our way through the lover's guide. Hi, Soph. How are you? How are you feeling? Well... I want to give things another go. You do? No, of course I fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was funny there. Yeah, we should talk about divorce options at some point. Yeah, m maybe not while I'm in spermy pants and you're high. Here. Yeah. Whatever, Mark, run away again. I'm having a laugh. <laughs> so I don't really give a toss. What are you doing out here anyway, Mark? And what's that in your trousers? Oh, God, it's seeping through. Have you... Pissed yourself? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I did a little bit of wee on myself, so... <laughs> you twat! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they can laugh, but I win because they think I pissed myself. They've no clue I came all in my pants. Need to admit I love Dobby. Who to tell first? Her, more exciting. Him, more noble. Or, together, more Jeremy Kyle, with a small chance he might cave my head in with his 2003 Personal Finance Award. You got some paint on the light switch? Yeah, well, that's gonna happen, unless I take forever. Is this white? Is this actual white? It's apple white. It's cheaper. Oh, I don't want slightly green white. Oh, Jez, this isn't what I wanted at all. Oh, come on, Mark. You knew when you hired me it wasn't going to be a professional job. Hey, Dobbs. Why the fuck have you been spying on me? I I'm sorry? Did you try and squeeze information out of Simon about the New York job while pretending to play football? I, I wasn't pretending. I, I just happened to be passing and felt like a kick around and, in the lulls, tried to strike up friendly banter. You happened to be passing a sports centre in Hackney on the way from your flat in Croydon to your corner shop in Croydon. Ooh, poor old Mark. The old stepping on the rake trick. All I have to do is paint and wait. Wait and paint. I suppose I, I didn't believe you liked me enough to move in with me. Don't be a fucking dickhead. I guess it's things like 
calling me a fucking dickhead so much. Dickhead is a term of endearment, knobhead. Of course the job is real. Oh, fuck. And now they've offered me the job. They've chosen me over Claire. Well, congratulations. Yeah, Claire's never gonna get on until she rethinks the hair. So, I don't know what to do. Well, if, if you don't mind me making a suggestion, why don't you stay and move in with me? But this is a big opportunity. New York. It's massive. Sure, the, the massive apple. But at the same time, I, I've just had the home office painted. I'll be moving my desk in there. You can have this whole bit. Hmm, is she going to buy this? Might have to sex up the bit. It ain't Greenwich Village, but it's yours. JLB reunion. I've moved on. I'm serving nachos to assholes. God, she's huge. It's like Alien, if the alien was a human. Hmm, if I had to choose, would I rather an alien burst out of my chest quickly or was heaved out of my vagina slowly? All right, mate. Oh, hello, Jeff. I smell burrito. Thought it must be you. <laughs> yes, well, I've showered, actually, but corn oil is persistent, so... Congratulations on the baby. Yeah, congratulations on my millstone. And now you know it's a boy, right? Nice one. Right, yeah, but what, what you've seen the scan and it has no penis just like his father. No, Mark, for real. Sophie said. Did she not tell you? Sophie? Oh, have I opened your crazy prezi early? Sophie, Jeff says he, he says that the, the baby is a boy bee. Is, is it a boy bee? I did call five times. I left a message. Did you not? Ob obviously not. Probably shouldn't switch the phone off as soon as her name comes up. Well, I'm glad I could be the one to tell you. You'll always remember this moment now, won't you, mate? It's me and you and Sophie and the lad. <laughs> He's never going to be a lad. <laughs> boy to geek to drone. That's the Corrigan trajectory. Oh, wow. A, a, a little male person. That almost makes it seem real, doesn't it? It is real. Yes, of course, I, I know. Totally doesn't feel real. Maybe about 1% realer now. I was hoping to see you tonight because I wanted to give you this. Hate mail in person? That's an early birthday present. Oh, that's very kind of you. A month and a half early. It's, it's, it's tokens. Is it book tokens? It's vouchers for driving lessons. An intensive driving course. Five hours a day, seven days, and then a test at the end. All right. Wow. Because you've always said how you'd like to learn to drive, haven't you? Have I? And plus it'll be really useful once the baby arrives. Oh, uh, Right, of course. Well, that's, that's really kind, so thanks. She's given herself a taxi driver for my not-yet-birthday. I've been thinking about names. Have you been thinking about names? Oh, Sophie, it's, it's early doors yet. We, we've a month and some weeks to go. I could get to Argentina in a month. Argentina and a face transplant. I was thinking Tarquin Oliver Nimrod. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Why did you laugh? I thought it was a joke. You thought it was a joke, but you like it? Tarquin Oliver Nimrod. Come on, give the little bugger a chance. What would you call him? Mark? Mark, Mark, Corrigan the Third? No, of course not. Just something normal. What's normal? I don't know, just Bruce or something. Bruce? No, no, not Bruce. You just said Bruce. No, no, I didn't mean Bruce, just a name in that area. Little Bruce? No, not Bruce, just a name like Bruce. Not even that much like Bruce. Yeah, oh, we're I suppose at least if I take the driving place. course, I'll earn some naming so credit. I don't want a child who sounds like a member of a decaying right. European dynasty. Hey, Barbara, thought we should have a follow-up meeting, re-the-phones thing. Oh, you're not here. Well, I'll just leave my new idea in your desk. Give you time to think about it. Yeah, so my new idea is urine. Loads and loads of urine. Flooding your drawers. What do you think about that? Don't you think that would be just the ticket? Yeah, you're getting some too. JLB credit, fuck off, please. What? From Sophie? Application letter to... She did it. She stiffed me. Well, Sophie's drawer's getting a dousing too. Or I could park a turd on her desk. Bit freaky. Pissing's okay. Pissing's just horseplay. Oh my god. Oh no. I didn't do it. It's not my piss. It was a joke. She did it to me last week. Shit! Mark? Sophie, I, I didn't realise you were still here. Yeah, I've been working late down in marketing. What are you doing? Oh, just likewise. Uh, working late. Uh, left a file here somewhere. Right. Um, Mark, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. About the other night at the restaurant, um, I just wanted you to know that I'm... Don't notice the piss. You. Don't notice the piss. Yeah, Mark? Oh, oh, yeah, totally. Oh, there's the Finnamore numbers. I knew she had these here somewhere. Let me get those for you. Oh. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> um, listen, do you want to... Better not, thanks. Got a lot to do. Thanks. 
Yeah, I've got to take the letter-shaped knife out of my back, Judas. OK, they're a bit crinkled. So what? Hello, police. Someone broke into my office and crinkled my papers and things. I think not. Hello, Mark. Sophie? I'm coming in if you're decent. I'm going for a coffee. What happened? It's not piss. I'm sorry you have to be out here with me watching this. It's just me walking about, basically. Penny wanted us out of the house, and what Penny wants, Penny gets. No, it, it's fine. I mean, if I wasn't here, I'd just be sitting around with Soph, and I can see her any time. So come on, Mark. Why haven't you told her yet? Shh. Can he hear? He can't hear. Can you, you big fox-hunting, badger-baiting, tweed-shirt, bumfuck homophobe? Oh, shit! Bottle cap. Another one for the collection. So come on. Are you having second thoughts? I, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, she's so nice. So what if I don't really love her? Charles didn't really love Diana, and they were all right. Sort of. You don't really love Sophie? <laughs> what? No. That's what you said. No, I, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, no, b because of distortion. There was probably a buzz. That there might be an ancient Saxon coin right here. Stop it, Mark. I heard every word. And for the record, Jeremy, I may be a homophobe, but I'm no badger beta. Maybe she will think it was charming. Yeah, maybe. Just keep clear of her till you've worked out a... I could say Jeremy had a gun and made me sing it, because he's a crackhead and he does that sort of thing all the time. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Me living in my crack house, maybe you could be a crack bitch and sit on my... Shit! Shit, sugar, fudge, piss, poo, pants, bollocks. Yes! Blitzkrieg! I'm in the Ardennes! You can't touch me in the Ardennes. Concealed in the cupboard. Everything's OK in the cupboard. I'm safe in the cupboard. Mark, you're in the stationery cupboard. That's right, Jeff. Okay. Right. Well, um, I hope you're having a good time. Yeah, well. Hi, Mark. Hi, Sophie. I'm just in the cupboard right now. About the message, we'll talk later, yeah? Uh, yeah, fine. So, you do know it's very low pay? That's OK. I'm fine with that. And very long hours? I like long hours. You have to clean the toilets and pull the hair out of the plug holes. I like that. It sounds interesting. It's not interesting. I find that stuff interesting. Are you writing a novel or something? Don't want to seem overqualified. What's a novel? Hey, Mark. What's the big stink? Daryl's getting the sack. Apparently he was a massive racist and not even his best friends knew. Someone reported him. Right. Oh shit, he knows. He knows it was me. He's got a pipe bomb in his trousers. Don't bomb me, you wouldn't bomb a whitey. Listen, don't worry, I'm not going to embarrass you, right? I'm going now. I just wanted to say, well, I don't care what happened, I still think you're a bloody good guy. Right, oh, and I took the wrap for the sausage as well, so you're in the clear there. So, um... Well, I'll see you around, mate. Yeah. Yeah, and good riddance, you, you, you fucking Nazi!